Hi guys! So you're watching this video tomorrow. So you watched my other one yesterday. But for me, it's the same day. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you what um, my favorite autumns from Tara Beauty are. Is Tara's Sculpt Mystic and light mystic. And you can get both of these. I mean, I think they run like, I want to say $25 or $26 a piece by themselves. But if you get them together, it's $35. And if you get them in the bundle, then you're getting, especially if you get the six minute bundle, then you're getting them for $12.50 a piece. So, my favorite thing ever, because even if you like what you're wearing, um, this, this stuff is, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. It's the best stuff ever. Because I've been watching all the things on Pinterest about um, baking and contour, using contour and slathering it all over in different spots and then rubbing the crap out of it. I don't know how long, long I don't know how long that takes. But this stuff is fast. Now, I already put on, I'm gonna tell you what I already put on. I showed you yesterday how to put on the um, to get rid of dark circles. So I used my handy dandy um, blush and a stick, my cheek and a stick. There it is. I already used this yesterday and showed you what it can do for your eyes, although it's meant for your cheeks. And I used just something you can get from the store. I used some Revlon um, Color Stay Concealer. And then um, I used some of this um, True Match L'Oreal um, liquid foundation on top of it. So after I did that, I had a couple more cups of coffee and then I started this video. And right before I did this, I used BB cream because I love BB cream. I used L'Oreal BB cream. And it's not like this is my favorite, this is just what I have. But I like BB cream because it has a moisturizer and I have dry skin. So it has a moisturizer, it has a primer, blah, 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 blah. So it also, um, I think, protects you against UV, which is important to me. And it has an antioxidant, and vitamin E. So I like that. Um, but everybody has different kind of skin. So use a moisturizer. If you have oily skin, um, you already know what you need to do for that. I don't have oily skin. But um, there are other things that you can do. And so I put the BB cream on and then I used my handy dandy mineral makeup. And I got, this is L'Oreal's brand, but I love Bare Minerals. If I could afford Bare Minerals, I'd do it. But they give you a tiny bit where this stuff's like a giant jar. Here's more accurate. But it's way bigger than what you get. And so I like it because um, I put the BB cream on top. I let it sit and dry for a couple seconds because it is a moisturizer. And then I put the um, mineral powder over and it soaks right into it. So I'm, if you look up close, I mean, okay, yeah, I have, don't look at my wrinkles. But it, I can feel it. It doesn't feel dry and, but it soaked in. So I don't have like, um crazy you're not seeing like this powdery like pancake makeup look I don't want that 
And I'm sitting, just so you know, under a window facing the sun. And I've got a light on that is one of those daylight lights. Okay, so I've talked too much. Anyway, that's what I did before I did this. Now you're going to see how easy it is to sculpt your face. I talked for five minutes. I'm going to get this done fast, okay? They didn't call it two-minute light sculpt for no reason. So let me show you what I do. And I don't know if I'm going to talk during it. I might. So I already know where the hollows in my cheeks are, so I'm going to get those. I have a high forehead. I call it my billboard forehead, so I'm going to put a little line there. Um, I'm going to fix my crooked nose. I have a broken nose with a nasty bump on it. It's right here. It's like going over a speed bump. And so I fix that. Um, I go underneath my lip because I, I like that pouty lip look, and, it, and when I blend it in, it looks good. I also use it to hide my baby gels. Someday they will be full grown up gels. So it's that um, bulldog look you get. And it starts early in life. It sucks. And then I do it under my chin. If you have a double chin, keep going down. Just kind of brush it down like this. But you want it right in that shadow line. Did I get everything? I don't know. So then you use your middle finger right here. And you just tap it in. So we're gonna tap it, and I'm gonna look in the mirror a little better. So if I'm not looking at you, it's because I'm trying to get this done. So I tap that in, and this is gonna give you cheekbones and dimension. It slims your face too. Sweetness. And I tap up here, and I tap and then I swab. Just swiping and dabbing towards my hairline but I first want to get it in and away kind of blend it I do under I'm gonna get that little what's that called I heard it was called something like a some kind of goatee there's a name for it so I got that done and then I want to swab in a nice straight line or it won't work. Um, if you start riding up, it's not going to help you. But you do not want to go lower down your neck. Don't do that. Because then you just look like you have a mask on. You know when you get like that orangey, you see that or people with the orangey, um, stuff down their neck and you're like wow they got makeup on don't do that but it's in my shadow line so if I'm looking at you like this you're just seeing hopefully I'm gonna replay this before I put it on and so oops my nose and I'm gonna get it nice and straight create a shadow to make it look a little bit more narrow not that narrow is like the way to go. I just want straight. That's the only way I'm gonna get it straight. I got so many bumps and wig. It's like meh. And so I want to kind of take away that look. I don't want to look like my nose is jacked up. All right, so I got that done. Headed for the light. Headed for the light. I can't sing. Go towards the light. <laughs> my attempt to be funny. I just, never mind. So I call this my chicken feet. I do three stripes. Like this. Right? I also go above my eyebrow. Because you're strobing. This is strobing, baby. Like disco. But you're doing it to your face. And what it does is it highlights, like you want them bad cheekbones, those fierce looking cheekbones, like you're a supermodel, but you don't, because like me, I'm chubby, cheekity, cheekity, chicken. And I don't get that. 
So, I'm painting it on. Did you get everything? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I'm gonna take now my ring finger, my Beyonce ring finger. It should be your left one. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna tap that in. Look in the mirror. I don't have my glasses on, so. I don't wanna be like, oh, I look great. And then look back on it and say, what the what? I've done that a couple times. And I was like, wow. Okay, nobody's gonna buy this from me. So I'm swabbing up here where my chicken feet are. Because I want to get um, this. I'm bringing my forehead down. So I put the darker and then the lighter. And I'm kind of blending them together. And they're both so silky. They call it tag lad technology. I call it awesome. And let's see. Did my nose? Did I do my nose? I did my cupid's bow and that little, those little rail runners right there under your nose and my chin. Okay, why did I do this? Anybody know? Well, you can't talk to a video, so if you're talking to yourself, it's because it does this. Right? My face just got a little slimmer. It's like losing 10 pounds. So that's, that is the sculpting and highlighting. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And so my next video is going to show putting on my cheek and a stick once again and using my Tyra's Overly Though Face. You're gonna love that because it's taken me like three, four weeks to figure out how to do it. And it's not really like how she does it, but I'm trying. So anyway, check her out. Check it out, check it out. Buy it from me. You're gonna love it. If you don't, you get your money back. Bye guys. Okay, I rewatched my video. Yeah, wearing your glasses is a good idea sometimes. <laughs> Like my chin line was crazy and I had like stuff stuck in my hair like this right here. And so um, I want to tell you what I did to fix that. <laughs> I'm looking. Okay. Yeah. So what I did was I took my handy dandy brush that had a little bit left of my powder and I just rubbed like this. I fixed this with my fingers. And I rubbed this in and then I just did this real quick. And now I don't have those stripes because I'm telling you, I make these videos without my glasses. And then I watch them again and then I'm like, seriously? So, please. <laughs> yeah. It looks much better now, doesn't it? I'll even take off my glasses. This looks so much better. It's like when you do it the right way and wear your glasses and then look again. I'm sitting there going, and I had the stripes. Oh my gosh. So this is a better way to do it. <laughs>